If the dryer in your washer-dryer combo is not heating, here are the eight most probable causes. The thermal fuse is a safety device designed to protect the dryer from overheating. The fuse is normally located on the blower housing, although some dryer models have an additional fuse on the burner or heater assembly. If the dryer overheats, the fuse will blow and cut off the power to the burner or heating element. You can use a multimeter to test the fuse for continuity, a continuous electrical path present in the part. If the fuse tests negative for continuity, it is blown and will need to be replaced. Be aware that the failure of the thermal fuse is often caused by the venting system being clogged with lint. To improve airflow, we recommend cleaning out the vent at least once a year. Gas dryers will use one or more solenoid coils to open the gas valve and allow gas to flow into the burner assembly. A solenoid can fail several minutes into the drying process, preventing the dryer from heating properly. If you observe the igniter glowing and then shutting off without establishing a flame, then one or more of the gas valve coils have probably failed. For electric dryers, a heating element warms the air before it enters the dryer drum. If the element is burned out or any part of the assembly is defective, the dryer will not heat properly. You can use a multimeter to test the heating element for continuity. If the meter indicates no continuity, then the element will need to be replaced. On gas dryers, the igniter ignites the gas in the burner assembly to create a flame. If the igniter fails, the gas will not be ignited and the dryer won't heat. As with the thermal fuse and heating element, you can test the igniter with a multimeter to determine if it has continuity. If it does have continuity, then the igniter is probably not the source of the problem. The flame sensor detects the heat emitted by the flame. If the flame sensor isn't working, the dryer won't heat. You should test the sensor for continuity at room temperature to determine if the part is defective or not. The high limit thermostat, located on the burner or heating element assembly, monitors the dryer temperature and will shut off the burner or element if the dryer overheats. The cycling thermostat, normally located on the blower housing, will cycle the burner or heating element on and off to regulate the air temperature. If either of the thermostats fail, the dryer may not heat. You can use a multimeter to test the thermostats for continuity to determine if either component has failed or not. While the cycling thermostat should display continuity at room temperature, it should switch off or display no continuity when heated. To fully operate, most electric dryers require 240 volts of alternating current running through two legs of voltage, each carrying 120 volts. If one leg of voltage is shut off by a trip breaker or blown fuse, the dryer may be able to run, but it won't heat. If you suspect the electrical outlet is not providing sufficient voltage, you can test the outlet using a voltage meter set to volts AC. Be aware that readings can vary between 210 and 240 volts. A defective main control board can prevent the dryer from heating as well, although this isn't a common problem. While the control board cannot be easily tested, you can inspect it for signs of burning or a shorted out component. All of the parts shown in this video are available on our website. Be sure to enter the full model number of your appliance in our website search bar to find the specific replacement part that will fix your washer-dryer combo.